so as we all understand, uh, uh, when we talk about GBV in a family setup, we are talking about economical, then we are talking about uh, which is financial, uh, then we are talking about uh, uh, physical, we are talking about uh, mental, and we are talking about uh, uh, sexual abuse. So these are, are the three uh, violence that happens within the family confinement. So now, on the uh, on the on the uh, we talked about the gender-based violence, uh, which is the sexual abuse. This is the, we said this is the situation whereby the husband uh, forces is forcing the wife to have sex when she's she has no ability at that particular time to not to have uh, sex. It should not be a routine whereby a wife should deprive the husband from having sex. If, he, if the wife does that, then it means that uh, she is committing also the gender-based violence. So GBV can, uh, can mean uh, the, the, the two. One deny sex uh, of his spouse, and the other part it is whereby one is forced to have sex uh, in the, in the house. So the the there must be uh, sexual activity has to be uh, something that each the the both parties have to agree on, and the other party should not deny, should not deprive of the other party of the sexual pressure. Uh, then we also said. Uh, on uh, financial uh, obligation of the spouse. So in the financial obligation, the spouse that has got uh, the income must be able to help the spouse that doesn't have the income. Whether the husband, if the husband is the one that is earning, then the wife should be able to, the husband should be able to support the wife or from the, uh, all the financial needs of the wife. If the, it is the husband that it, if it is the wife that earns, then the wife should be able to support the husband on the uh, financial needs of the husband. Now, again, on this, uh, uh, we we have to take note that uh, the the in the marriage act, the, the in marriage act, the properties of the husband belongs to the wife, and the properties of the wife belongs to the husband. Um, in Zambia, basically, you cannot sue the wife that she has stolen from me. I've heard some men they whereby they want to take uh, the wife uh, to police because he has lost some money. That case doesn't apply in the Zambian law. Whereby, if, if the wife steals from you, it is not, uh, she has not stolen, she has just taken what belongs to her. That is uh, how it is in, uh, uh, in Zambian law when we come to uh, the relationship on property between the husband and the wife. And also if the wife gets uh, uh, something from the husband, uh, if the husband gets something from the wife, so the wife cannot take any charge against the husband that he has stolen from me. So. Uh, that is how it is, unless there are issues of forgery, where he forged uh, maybe uh, something to get uh, something from the wife. Then it, the case that can be there, not that he has gotten, uh, he went to the bank and got the, the money for the wife. The case that can be there, it is uh, the forgery. So which means that uh, it is a uh, false pretense and unlawful act. So, but uh, basically, in um, in Zambia, there is nothing like uh, uh, a husband stealing from the wife or the wife stealing from the husband. Now, deprive, this means that uh, the properties of the husband belongs to the wife and the properties of the wife belongs to the husband. Now, again, the challenge comes in whereby uh, you found your wife with uh, some houses and uh, the, there are other families that are involved like maybe he has the children or 
or you she has the children so those properties basically they uh, may not be uh, considered as your properties so that um, that um, you may enjoy those properties as long as your husband is there but there is they are rightful owners now again in that the, there is a debate on that one whereby you may claim if you the house that you are you were staying in with your husband if uh, there is anything like a separation or divorce they they should be able to continue staying we will talk about divorce and uh, remarriage later on but i want us to 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 to, to understand that uh, the the gbv it is uh, when you are depriving your husband or your wife on the financial uh, issues also now the other thing it is the mental gbv the mental gbv it is whereby you are forcing you are pushing your wife uh, no you have to go this is not your house this is not your place you, you are what what every time you you are making your wife or your husband to feel not at peace because you have got an obligation as the husband to ensure that eh, there is a eh, harmony at the house and eh, your wife should be able to enjoy uh, being at that house now the situation whereby you are making that your wife or your husband eh, to feel uncomfortable and to torture uh, your husband or your wife because they are not earning and uh, or because of other issues that may come on in marriage and that creates uh, someone to have uh, depression or anything that is also uh, gbv i want us to also to understand this especially uh, ladies and also gentlemen we need to understand that uh, most in most cases there are uh, a lot of the gbv and when you see most of the demographic or what makes uh, many people to have BP, heart attacks, and especially where the, there is uh, more mortality in the husband, uh, it is because of the gender-based violence. Uh, on, the, on the mental violence, I'm saying that, uh, you know, when you look at the death rates in the couples, you'd find that uh, Mm, uh, there is uh, there is so much of the, uh, uh, the 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 death of the husbands. The most of those deaths, you may find that uh, they are caused by uh, GBV. And uh, when you look at the also the most of the suicide that happens, you may find that uh, they involve the husband. They they involve the uh, the males, which is mostly which is done by which uh, when you dig deeper on those suicides when you dig deeper on the uh, deaths of the husband and uh, uh, what comes on you may find that uh, most of them they are mental uh, gbv whereby that man may be uh, going through some mental challenges uh, the community does not accept mostly when the man comes to complain about it uh, the wife mistreating him or her because it is uh, basically known that uh, a man is uh, a strong or uh, the, then the, the, the woman is considered as a weak vessel so as a result you'd find that uh, most men die because die of depression die of uh, heart attack die of suicide and a lot of uh, uh, symptoms of uh, mental torture so that's why the the lifespan of the uh, husbands is uh, is low compared with the, with the the lifespan of the wives so you'd find that by the time you are reaching 60 years there will be there are more widows than widowers that could be one of the reasons so now in this case what should be done like uh, in preventing the gbv i think as the reason why we are teaching uh, this course 
we want because the production in the community as we are working on job creation poverty alleviation and micro industrialization of communities so the production people to be productive there must be uh, they should be people that have got that have uh, are peaceful and we have got strong family uh, marriages and there are no gbv in the family because the the wealth the wealthy of the nation begins from the family so that's that's the reason why we need to safeguard our families and we need to guide our family legally so uh that is only mental uh gender based violence and also like uh uh, mostly where you are uh, you are creating a, a situation where your husband or your wife is uh, feeling uncomfortable or always they feel bad and uh, they are they feel they are just staying uh, for the sake of that uh, staying because they are afraid maybe of divorcing they are afraid where because of their economical uh, issues now that is, should not be a case when it comes to well, as we will be talking about in uh, in divorce because uh, the your husband or your wife is obligated to uh, take care of you even when you divorce that is how the laws provide lastly I want us to look at uh, well, uh, we, we talked about uh, um, uh, we, 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 we talked about physical abuse. So physical abuse is, uh, is a very critical uh, issue in the GBV. Now, I want us to, uh, to know that no one has been given the right to uh, inflict pain on another person, not even the parents to beat the children and to inflict, to inflict pain on the children. So uh the nowadays the laws provides that you should not inflict to any any kind of torture it is not acceptable even by the police officers beating a suspect it is not uh, agreeable and it is not allowed so any kind of inflicting pain no matter regardless of what uh kind of uh, uh what kind of a person is it is not acceptable now there is even the the law that governs uh those that are caught for example like what is happening in ukraine uh where the soldiers are captured they are not allowed to be beaten they are not allowed to be uh tortured or doing whatever that is the that is how the world that we are living in now imagine now you you beating your wife or inflicting pain on your wife or inflicting pain a physical pain on your husband that is not acceptable and uh, that is uh, gbv that is violence which as a, a criminal offense so all the cases that are in gbv they are all criminal offense which calls for imprisonment uh, of a spouse that uh, is it causing uh, that pain on the uh, on the spouse now the only challenge is that uh, the reason why we only see like uh, physical violence as a uh, major violence of gbv it is because that is the only one that can be uh, that can come with evidence and that you can be able to produce in court because the physical uh, physical uh, violence whereby pain is inflicted on a person it is they are able to be seen physically so the evidence is uh, assured on that one and but now where where there is a challenge it is on the uh, financial violence and also mental violence uh, that is also can be also be proven by where the depression there is depression there is there uh, uh, some issues that your husband or your wife begins to go through my bp and other things so in such a case those can be also 
the proof that there is a GBV that is hap happening when someone maybe is experiencing uh, those symptoms. So that can also be evidence on uh, GBV. And uh, on the financial, uh, the way it is, is uh, you look at the husband. For example, the husband is well-to-do, but the wife is, uh, is much to be desired when you look at uh, how she is uh, staying. So in such a case, it is also GBV, whereby the husband or the wife is doing well financially, but the, the wife cannot, or the husband is just cannot even afford a thing that is supposed to be, uh, which cannot be desired as the one who is uh, married to that person. That is GBV. So in, in all that cases, I think uh, we need to educate the community that uh, when we get married, it is our responsibility and it is their responsibility of the spouse to ensure that uh, they are at the same level. They provide financial uh, uh, support to their spouse. Same with the uh, same with the, on the mentor. We are not supposed, we have to make our husbands and our wives very happy to live with. And people should not just live uh, in marriage for the sake of living. But the marriage is supposed to be enjoyed. Okay.